I think it's important if you're going to be a comedy magician, personally anyway, that if you take that magic away, mm -hmm. you're still funny. Hello everyone, welcome to another interview. This one's all about having an open mic night. So, let's have a chat with Luke O'Neill. So, thank you for doing this, Luke. No, my pleasure. And let's, you know, we always start with how did you get into magic? So, how did you get into magic? I uh, used to be a juggler. Okay. Like yourself. So, I, um, uh, I did that for years, from when I was about 12 to when I was 20. And then I started doing stand-up comedy in London, and I lived in Devon at the time. Okay. And I was on the coach for six-hour journeys to get to London for, for like certain gigs, and I couldn't practice juggling. Mm -hmm. uh, on the on the couch, so I just thought a deck of cards was kind of a nice way to to practice something on the go. And I needed I always need something to do in my hands, so I, I picked that up. And then uh, opportunities came along as I went along and mm -hmm. got residencies, and uh, and here I am. Perfect. Yeah, a few years later. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. And then you did work in a magic shop for a while. I did. I went from uni to working in Hamleys for Marvin mm -hmm. for two years, uh, and then I went from Hamleys to Prop Dog. Okay. Uh, as part of their team for a year. And now you've quit prop, prop dog? Uh, yeah, I was in America for, for mm -hmm. five months, so I, had, I uh, had to quit to do okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about this show that you organize at, at the Fiddler's Elbow. The Fiddler's Elbow in And Camden, it's yeah. called, what is it called again? It's or? called Now That's Magic. Okay. Yeah. And how did you decide to have something like this? Because this is really great as an open mic night, so let's... Yeah, let's yeah. So, because I'd done comedy in the past, I, I liked being on stage. I liked that idea. I was full, uh, rapidly falling out of love with, with close-up magic. It, it just wasn't, wasn't for me, and the more I did it, the more I, I liked the tricks, but I didn't like the environment. And now mm -hmm. that as a work, it just didn't fit me. So I, I started getting into stage magic, and it was, it was hard to practice it you could with with close-up you could you could show your mates and you could practice some people yeah. but you with stage magic you needed an audience and you yeah, needed true. you needed to get up there you needed to try it if, if you're gonna make something funny you need a, an audience of strangers to mm. see if it's funny your friends are gonna find something funny yeah that an audience of strangers who don't know your sense of humor are, so and I looked about and there wasn't a, a circuit like there was for comedy of open mics yes, yes. to trust about that that didn't exist uh, in magic right. really yes. there was there was con there was some great shows I think there's conjuring the courts brilliant there's mm -hmm. Magician Showcase is another really good one, which was the first time I performed on stage. But there were, there were really few and far between, and, mm -hmm. and obviously they were filming themselves with, with the people who were already good stage magicians, as yes. opposed to people who were wanting to try it out. Yeah, so there's a lot of magic shows. In fact, I've talked about people who wanted to create their own magic shows on this channel. But I think what you spoke about is great, because a lot of you watching this home, right now sitting at home watching this, are magicians, or maybe a fan of magic, or a hobbyist. And you want to start performing out there. Now, it's really hard for someone like you, if you've not done a lot of stuff, to say, hey, can I perform at the Conjuring of the Court or one of these shows? Because you need to be pretty good to do that, yeah. and they're not going to put you on board. But what you do is, is great, because this is an open mic night yeah. for magicians. So if you want to test and try material, could anyone just come in? How do they, how do they get hold of you? So they can either contact the uh, Facebook page, which is Now That's Magic, okay. um, or they can contact me direct. But yeah, just get in touch with, uh, with me. Literally go uh, Facebook, Now That's Magic, and we come up. It's a little rabbit in an orange background. Mm -hmm. let, let me know what you're interested in, if it's stage, if it's close up. We have six stage slots each month and two close up performers wandering around in the intervals. So, yeah, that's perfect. Um, yeah, and we, we like to have we like to have a mix because it's it is a show. Mm -hmm. So we do try and get some people who've done it before. Yeah. And, and also another very important point you mentioned earlier, this is a free show. Anyone yeah, can anyone absolutely. can come. So if you want to yeah, watch if you this, see magic, we get some uh, really and, and what day is it on? I don't even know what I'll it's, the, it's the second Tuesday of every month. Okay. So the next one will be twelfth November, tenth okay. of December, but always second Tuesday of every month. So the second Tuesday of every month, if you want to go and see a show for free, you don't have to pay any money. If you want to go and mm. be part of it, this is the perfect thing for you. If you're magicians out there, just getting into magic, why not try this out? So that's a great idea. Also wanted to ask you a question before we end it. Now, because you do stand-up comedy, what is more harder, comedy or magic? Uh, comedy. I comedy. don't that's know why I, 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 I questioned that. It was I thought it was because you're hiding behind the props as a magician. Mm -hmm. yeah, because even if you're yeah. not funny or you don't have any personality, you can do the magic as it is. You're still going to yeah. get claps. And you can practice it at home. You yeah. can make sure that, so if you are, even if you're trying to be a comedy magician, mm -hmm. if the jokes don't land, you've still got that moment at the end where they're like, oh wow, how did that, how did exactly. you do that? And that's what I thought. Whereas comedy, you <laughs> haven't. You've because people ask me the same thing with juggling. And I said the same thing. Juggling is so much more harder than magic. Well, it depends on what kind really of magic you want to do. But 
you could do a self-working magic trick and then you could spend three years learning a hard juggle move yeah. but that self-working thing is so Im more impressive than the other bits to a lay person who's, n who's yeah. not done it and that's one of the reasons why i got into magic and he's spending all this time juggling and it's more like flair bartending, but I still incorporate bits of that. So you you were definitely a comedy magician, you would say. I, you I, want, I really want to be, I think it's important if you're going to be a comedy magician, personally anyway, that if you take that magic away, mm -hmm. you're still funny. Yes. Um, I think otherwise you're, I'd rather be a comedian who does magic than a, a, magi a magician who does comedy. If, you're, mm. if I'm going to bill myself as a comedy magician, yes, because yes, that's a yes. claim. You're saying you're, I'm going to make you laugh, and yeah, you need that's to. You hard, need, and that's yeah. not just with the odd gag or the odd line thrown in a yeah. trick. That means that people are going to laugh, and, mm. and they should. That should be the same quality of laughter as a comedian can give. Yeah, not as. Oh, like, you know, like Darren Brown's a funny guy, but he's he, he just throws in the odd line. Yeah. He's not a yeah. comedian, yeah. but he can throw in a line that I think a comedy magician needs to be a comedian and a magician, not a magician who's a bit funny. I, personally, that's, anyway, that's yeah, my that, thought on that's, it. That's, that's great. So who are your favorite comedians that you look up to? Um, I think, have any favorites? Yeah, or? I mean, there's there's loads. It, it, it jumps in and out of, of where, where, where my sense of humor is at the moment. Okay. James Acaster is really popular at the moment, okay. and he him. did it, brilliant. He released a set of uh, Netflix specials, which okay. are just, he's very clever and a bit weird, and I quite like that. I, I try and do that a little bit, uh, not kind of observational stuff as much as yeah. it is a bit like clever but okay, just outside okay. the box I hmm. quite like that God, I've watched too many I think I think if you're name. into comedy then you know probably better names because most people watching this and if you're not into comedy like myself I'm not massive I just know the big names yeah, yeah. The, the big names but then there's so many good comedians out there that are not very popular and it's the same with magic you know people oh, generally when if you talk about magic they'll go oh, David Copfield and Dynamo is my favorite magician or whatever. nothing wrong with that but as a magician, sometimes when I said my favorite magician was Storm Whitestone, people were like, yeah. "Who's Storm Whitestone?" You know. So, and then you can research and look them up, and then you'll. Mm, so it's a good, it's a good uh, way to plug people who are sort of underground and not very popular. But yeah, so it's amazing. So to cap it off, let's talk about the show one more time. So Tuesday nights, second, second Tuesday, second Tuesday, second Tuesday, Tuesday every month. Every month. Yeah. It's a free place in the Fiddler's Elbow. What's the closest tube station? So the closest tube station is, is Chalk Farm. Chalk Farm. But it's 10 minutes from Ch Camden as well. So, okay, um, so yeah. Camden, Chalk Farm, that's the area. And you'll find all the information on the YouTube page, or, no, sorry, the, on the Facebook, on the Facebook page. page. Yeah. And we're gonna leave all the links in the description of yeah. this video below. So yeah, there you go. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up if you can, and it'll help my channel grow a little bit more. And do comment, and let me know in the comments if you want me to get anyone else on this channel to have talks. Otherwise, you guys have a great day, Whatever you want. See you soon. Bye bye.